Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be really fun to sit down with you folks today and do a pen test video. It's been years, I think, since I've done a pen test video. These are all permanent style pens and markers. Um, that way they will write wonderfully on your stickers. The stickers are a matte vinyl. They're so nice and smooth and the color will not like rub off or wear off with water or wear and tear, but with those advantages uh, comes the disadvantage of not being able to use any pen you want. So gel pens, that type of thing won't work on the vinyl, but I have a nice selection of pens here that will. And in addition to the pens that I know and love, there's a new pen that it's not new, it's new to me, but somebody told me about this on Instagram. It's called the Pilot Multiball Rollerball Pen. And I really wanna show that one to you folks today because it can write on the planner pages, not bleed through, depending on your page. I think if it's like a Hobonichi or something, it might bleed, but I've been using it in my plum paper and it doesn't bleed. And uh, the others will because they're such a heavy ink. So this one is really nice. I do have a little word of caution for them, but we'll get to that when we, when we get started. Started. So I will be showing you the little tips. I think the tip makes the biggest difference for me when it comes to writing because I need a really fine tip. If it's not fine, uh, it just looks sloppy with my handwriting. There's something about um, a larger tip that I just, I just can't do it. So this is the Lay Pen Permanent. It has this nice fine nib, similar to the pen that I always use, which is the Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Marker. Uh, same type of pen tip. So we're just gonna write out the names of the pens here. I noticed this one, it, so it is new but the first line always seems a little faint and I don't know if it's because I hold my pen at an angle or if it just needs to get flowing. So what I would recommend sometimes is if you're using that type of pen, just do a quick line off on a scratch paper and then that way you don't have that, that faint or you can just trace it over like that. It's really not too big of a deal. But that is the Lay Pen Permanent. With all of these pens, you're gonna wanna give it just a second to dry, it's already dry, but if I was to have written and immediately gone over it like this, watch, lay pen and then go like that, of course it's gonna smear, but if you give it just a second, you won't have that problem. So, lay pen. Up next, we have the Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent. We sell this one in our shop. It works really well, um, but I thought I would show it for this video because it is the one that I use the most, so. We have the Pilot Perm. Same type of tip. Very similar outcome. Uh, let's do this one. So I just purchased this one. I don't know what the name of it is because it's all in Japanese. It is by Zebra. I will try to look for it on Jet Pens and link it below if this is something you're interested in. It's a dual tip. So one tip has a much thicker kind of like felt tip style. And then the other side has that really fine tip style. So of course I would lean towards this one. Nice to have this, but I will try to be as quiet as possible so you can hear it. It's like nails on a chalkboard. So here it is. Oh my God, that is painful. <laughs> so I would not use that side. Let's go ahead and cap it up. Um, here's a close up of the pen just so you can see. And then this side definitely does not make that sound. That's the zebra. If you're looking for a very, very fine tip, you can check out the Micro Perm. So I bought this in a little three pack. It's a multi-surface pen, so it is permanent. Uh, micro, there. don't get it confused. There's another one, it's a brown barrel and it's Micron. That's not permanent, it's not gonna work. But this Micro Perm does. And so it comes in a set of three. You have the 05, the 03, and the 01, and those are the, the sizes there. So we'll just do, um, here, let's just do it right here. M, P, O, 5. It's not super thick, but it's definitely not something I would choose. The O, 3. Um, 
It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I think this one is really nice, the 03, but again, it all depends on your preference. And this one, so skinny. I don't think it's made for, it's made for drawing, I believe. Mm, doesn't really say, but it's a really, really fine tip. MP01. If you're light-handed, I think the, the little nib would last a while, but I tend to smush them down really easily, so I don't see this pen lasting very long in my hands because even the Pilot, I've never used all of the ink in the Pilot because I smashed the nib before I can use all the ink. But those are the Micro Perm. Next up, we have the Oldie But Goodie Sharpie. Of course, the Sharpie permanent markers are going to work. Sharpie does make a pen. The pen is not permanent, so the pen will not work. But this one will. And again, that's the fine tip. I think it's called the Ultra Fine. Next up, we have Staedtler. This is the Tripless Permanent. They have, again, Staedtler also does ones that look like this. I believe they have a gray barrel, maybe? Those are not permanent. <laughs> they And this permanent does come in a lot of different colors. I think they do a whole pack of colors. So if you're looking for colorful pens, this might be a good option for you. I don't personally use different colors in my planner when it comes to pens. I'm just looking how to spell this. Like that. And then last but not least, we have that new one, the Pilot Multiball Rollerball Fine Tip. I think this comes in different types of tips. I purchased mine on Jet Pens, but I believe it is on Amazon as well. Might be a little more expensive. I think it was $1.65 on Jet Pens, but again, you do have to pay for shipping. But if you spend enough, then you don't. <laughs> so <laughs> the one thing I did want to say is that, so I purchased a couple, because that's just what I do. I'm a hoarder. I need one to use and one to hoard. This one straight out of the container, it had like, do you see that smut, like that extra ink that's already on the tip? So it had that. Mm, it doesn't write as well as this one does. And so I'm really glad that I used this one first because this one gave me no problems. Um, but I brought this one down for some reason. I grabbed it instead of this one and it was really scratchy and kind of inconsistent. Um, and so I'll show you. Seems to be doing okay now, but when you compare it to this one, let's just see here. Yeah, I mean, it may have just been because I just started it, but in my mind, this one <laughs> looks better. I don't know, like it's more more pigmented or whatever it may be. But the cool thing about this one, again, is that you can write on the planner pages. So we'll do a little close up so you can see all of the different ones. Um, See how it, it just starts off a little weak and then it starts up, but this one worked no problem. If it starts off weak, like I notice a lot of them do, you just use a piece of scratch paper, start it up and then write. Or if you have a steady hand, you can just kind of go back through and it's like it never happened. So it's not a big deal at all. Um, let me grab my, let me see if there's a page that I'm willing to sacrifice. I have two Hobonichi cousins, one for testing and one for actual stuff. <laughs> so I think this one will be no problem because this is from January and it was for testing. So let's see what this looks like on this paper because this is the thinnest uh, paper that I have. Pilot. Multiball. see barely anything it's crazy and so here I probably used either I'm guessing this Sarasa or this Signo pen I always use a gel pen and uh, for the planner pages but it's like the same amount watch Ball Signo it's actually a little more pigmented too. And so they're comparable, but this one cannot write on planner. I mean, on planner stickers, this one can. So 
to be able to just have one pen to use for your entire spread it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so that is it for the video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pen is to write on the stickers. I'd love to know because if you folks didn't talk about this one, I would have had no idea it existed. Uh, she mentioned that she thinks the science community uses it a lot in like labs and things because you can write on glass and all of that kind of stuff. So Thank you for sharing this with me. I um, thought I'd pass it along to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me anytime via email. Support at sweetkawaiidesign.com is the best way to get a hold of me. Or you can leave a comment down below. Um, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.